Hi, my name is Cindy at Z9 Designs. Decorate with me to cozy up to a beautiful fall mantle. Now, it's got to be pretty if I'm going to sit there and listen to the crackling fire and look at the beauty of it. Watch as I turn this mantle into a modern fall showcase. There are so many different types of mantles and each kind of presents a different decoration opportunity. It's kind of an intimidating blank slate when you start from scratch, but a few tried and true tricks will help you get off to the right start. Well, this is a simple but beautiful fall mantle. The first thing that you want to start off with is a clean mantle. Get rid of some of those dust bunnies and other tidbits that are just hanging around. Pumpkins are from Perennial Accents and Urban Garage Market. The cloches were thrifted. The books from Dollar Tree. The bookends, I DIY'd them, but Perigold is where they were duped. Tea Light Pumpkins, Dollar Tree DIY. Sconce, it was thrifted. And Artwork, well, that's my DIY. I put up my sconces earlier this year because they were thrifted and I wanted to show them off. In fact, there is a drinking glass that is on top and it's sort of rippled and when the lights are on, it just kind of ripples. And I thought they looked good, especially in the evening time. Then I leaned my DIY artwork against the wall. Many think this is a purchase painting and I have to laugh <laughs> because however, I was trying to paint some modern art and this is how it ended. I just took the brush and went from one end and made a circle and then kind of swipe, swipe and it was done. And in fact, I just kind of left it by itself for a long time before I decided to put it up. People that come over just love it and it is just black acrylic paint on a foam board. So, $1.25 and you've got a cool painting. And I use the bookends that I DIY to mimic the ones that I saw in Perigold. I think they look so modern and they were very cheap to make. Next, I used three Dollar Tree books, but I turned over the cover so that they all would be white and placed them facing forward. So you see, if you don't want to see what the cover is, because a lot of the covers are all different kinds of colors and they have words and pictures on them, all you have to do is take that cover, turn it inside out, put it on the book. Now it was time to place the pumpkins on the fireplace. Ooh, they're so soft and squishy with their gold rush stems. I placed two on the left. And one against the wall and one just kind of sitting upright. Then I placed the other two 
on the right in the same manner. Now these are burgundy velvet pumpkins with gold stems. They are so cute and they give a beautiful fall look. But wait, the crowning beauty are the two tea light pumpkins that have been placed in the cloches. Now the pumpkins were originally orange, but I painted them gold. And then I put tea lights inside. and place the cloche glass on top. Now, if you look really close, you will find out that one cloche is taller than the other and has a black vase. And the one on the right is smaller and has a brown wood base. Now, you can see the one that was brown. I did a little DIY on it. I just took a knob and I used E6000 and put it on top. I did not do that for the one on the left. Nevertheless, they really complement each other. Then I purchased some Luminera tea lights from Amazon. And when I turned on the candles in the sconces with my remote control, wow, isn't this lovely? This is hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. At Home with Lisa Lisa, Design with Emma, Debbie Bubbles, Jennifer at Home, Lifestyle Designs with Teresa, Z9 Designs, that's me, Sandy Lynn's Home and Garden, Decorating with Jazzy Green, and Deborah Cabasa Home Living. These women are wonderful and know how to cozy up a home. Be sure to like, subscribe, save, and comment, and show us all some love. And be sure to use the hashtag CozyMantle24.
Now, if you have liked what you've seen, please subscribe, like, save, and comment. And also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Threads, and Facebook. Thanks for watching and joining the family. I appreciate all of your comments. And remember, joy is the echo of God's love in us. It's kind of a take on Psalms 8915. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.